think there's a train coming this way. Oh, hey, engineers. Well, it's no secret that I love everything there is to know about trains. Cabooses, couplers, coal cars, cupolas, you name it, I love it. Today, however, I discovered the best thing ever there is to know about trains. You want to know what it is? Okay, well, the single greatest secret about trains is... This is Choo Choo Bob News. Good evening. We interrupt this cold open to bring you breaking news. In a meaningless poll taken by the Arbitrary Association, Assistant Tiny Lynn Railroad Commissioner candidates Richard W. Cornbelt and Getty Groosevelt are now neck and neck. This will make today's debate and election semi-interesting. Stay tuned for more updates as they happen. We now return you to your regularly scheduled train show. We hope you didn't miss anything important. And that, my friend, is the single greatest thing to know about trains. Choo-choo oh, Bob is coming round the bend. Choo-choo oh, Bob is bringing all his friends. So much fun and what a treat. You won't have to leave your seat. Don't you move. You'll say wow. Choo-choo Bob is coming up right now. The Choo-choo Bob Show. Things are pretty exciting around here today. You see, Richard W. Cornbelt, my very good friend, is running for political office in Tinyland. As you can see, we have transformed the clubhouse into his campaign headquarters. And the best part is, the election is today. Claire? Oh. <laughs> Contact my senator. Renew my books at the library. And do those monkeys with the typewriters have my acceptance speech ready? They are on a banana break right now, but they will have it ready on time. Hey, Rich. Hey, engineer, I mean campaign manager, Emily. Hi, Hi Bob. Bob. One second. Yes, I bring in No time for pleasantries, Bob. There okay. are shopping malls to kiss and baby groundbreaking ceremonies to attend to. Busy day, busy day. Well, just know this, Richard W. Cornbelt, you can count on this choo-choo dude for my vote. Oh, thanks, Bob. <laughs> I'll never forget you when I'm elected sewer inspector. Huh? Uh, no, wait a minute. Oh, when I save the clock tower. What? Uh, no, wait a minute. When I'm elected, when I'm elected, uh... uh assistant Tiny Lynn Railroad Commissioner, Rich. Oh, that's it. Yes. Thanks, Bob. No problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some very important note cards to study for today's debate. Huh. okay. Hmm. A is for apple. Mm hmm B is for boat. Huh? C is for... Oh, wait a minute. This is the alphabet. I already know the alphabet. These are just flashcards. Huh. Holy smokestacks! I think there's a T is for train coming! Hey, Rich, did you see that freight train that just blew by? Freight train? You mean the kind of train that carries stuff people order off the internet in hopes of having it for a very important debate they're having this afternoon? Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I guess so. Then what are we waiting for? Hmm. Claire? Just a friendly reminder to get out and vote today. Remember, a vote for Richard W. Cornbelt is a vote for well for Rich. How are we doing, Charlie Rath? What do you mean you'd rather vote for a dog? Because they're cute. Sheesh. Oh, uh, doing great, boss. Uh, couldn't be better getting out the vote. Ah, good. Great. Hey, Charlie Rath, do you happen to know what kind of freight train that was that just flew by the campaign call center? Pardon me. Uh, the nosy trainiac has a question. That, Bob, was a Canadian National Freight Train. The Canadian National Railway is the largest railroad in Canada. Whoa, a Canadian National Freight Train? That is so cool. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Charlie Rat. Not a problem. Not like I'm busy over here or anything. <laughs> no anchovies, three pepperoni, deep dish, extra cheese. Hey, Conductor Dave, are you ordering pizza? No, I was just, um, uh, vote rich. <laughs> and two veggie extremes. Hey, Rich, Whoa. that freight train that just came by here dropped off this package for you. <laughs> it's here! Oh, and just in time. Bring it inside, quick. All right. Oh, so cool. <laughs> hey, Dave, order me some garbage bread. And some garlic bread. No, garbage bread. Garbage bread. Oh, 
Uh, stale white or moldy grain? Moldy grain. Moldy grain. <laughs> So cool, Rich. What is it? It's my very own Omnipodium 9000, featuring oh. the latest advancements in public speaking technology, oh, including yeah. temperature sensors, an oh. AM <laughs> FM radio. Oh, yeah. Well, that's kind of catchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Huh? And cup holder and drink dispenser. Oh, you guys should try some of this podium water. It's delicious. Yeah, no, no thanks. No, thanks. I'm, I'm good. Here you go, Rich. Your real notes this time. Oh. oh, hey, don't be nervous, Rich. Just think about how excited you were when the campaign started and why you decided to run in the first place. Oh, you mean because I love donkeys and elephants? Uh, uh hmm. no, because of your recent whistle stop tour. Oh, yes. Oh, I remember that like it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Or like it was B-roll footage that we could dissolve to. Ooh. Greetings, engineer. If your campaign needs some wind in its sails, then it's time to take a long ride out on the rails. Look, it's the 26th president, Theodore Roosevelt. Do you know that he spoke softly and carried a big stick? He had a big mustache, too. And there's Harry S. Truman, 33rd president of the United States. Not bad for a haberdasher from Kansas City. And there he is, Assistant Dineland Railroad Commissioner candidate Richard W. Cornbell on another whistle stop, spreading his campaign message to throngs of eager constituents all along the Bobville line. There's no better way to campaign than from the back of a train. See you out on the rails, engineers. Ha! A train campaign. Great idea, Rich. You know, trains have been an important part of presidential campaigns for a long time. Yep. Presidents from Abraham Lincoln to Franklin Roosevelt to Barack Obama have used trains to travel and campaign. Well, it's like I always say. Trains are an amazing way to see the country, whether you're the president or not. <laughs> so, what do you say, Rich? Are you ready to go down to the tiny Lynn debate? Oh, as ready as I'll ever be. Wish me luck, everybody. Luck! luck! Oh. Going down. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. Oh, let's see how Rich does. Yeah, 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 turn it on, turn it on. Welcome to the election day debate with our candidates, career, career searcher, Richard W. Cornbelt, and political blowhard, Getty Forth Roosevelt. Resident train aficionado and Bobville hula hoop champion, Choo Choo Bob, will moderate today's debate. Greetings, Mr. Roosevelt. Afternoon, Cornbelt. <laughs> Gentlemen, I only have one question. How much do you love trains? Magn oh, magnificent, oh, uh, magnificent question, Robert. Oh no, my monkeys with typewriters have written everything in chimpanzees. If I may, Robert, <laughs> the true character of a man is not judged by how much he loves trains, but rather by how much he loves the people who frequent trains. As Assistant Tinyland Railroad Commissioner, I will endeavor to keep our plastic homes safe and our model railroad dependable for man and creature alike. Cheerio, bark, bark, I say. Oh, yes, well, me too. I mean, uh, when I'm elected uh, Assistant Manager of all of God, um, uh, assistant... assistant Tinyland Railroad Commissioner. Yes, that's it, yes. When I'm elected that guy, I'll do everything in my power to keep our plastic homes safe and our model railroads dependable for humans and critters alike. Hi, Blithers here, boy. Come here. <laughs> Bully, Kronfeld, but you seem to be just repeating what I have said. Am I? Or are you just repeating what I was thinking of saying before I thought I should say it? I think the people of Tinyland will agree with me when I say that doesn't make a lick of sense. It makes perfect sense. Does somebody have a bagel? <laughs> Sorry. Remember to vote rich. I'll just go. Vote rich, everybody. I'll just take this away. Well.
Well, folks, there you have it. How will this nonsensical debate affect voters? We'll keep you posted right here with our live election coverage. <laughs> that could have gone better. Well, maybe uh, nobody was watching. <laughs> Except for us. I mean, <laughs> only time will tell. The results are in. Oh, I can't look. No, I can. No, it's bad for my blood pressure. No, I gotta see this. And the unanimous winner of the assistant Tinyland Railroad Commissioner election is right in candidate Blithers the dog. Wow, that's a first. But seriously, how cute is that dog? <laughs> I know I voted for him. We now go live to Stanley Shanley, who is with our adorable winner. Well, give the dog a bone. How does victory feel, Mr. Blithers? Oh, bark, I say. Stanley, my lad, I feel positively chuffed. It's like I found a long avenue lined with lavender-scented fire hydrants. There you have it, a dog in political office. What do they think of next, a train to outer space? <laughs> Back to you, Catalina. Stanley Shanley, choo-choo Bob News. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Oh, I am. Uh, sorry, Rich. Yeah, buddy. I was really hoping you were going to win this one. Well, on the bright side, I did get to update my resume. Huh. I wonder who that could be. Hey, I'm looking for Conductor Dave. Right here, pizza guy Randy. Bring him on in. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Right oh, hey guys, wow. how about a song? Oh, oh, great idea. Idea. And a one, and a two. And a hail to the trains, cause the train is what we're taking. Hail to the trains, they're such powerful machines. So hop the train for the campaign. It's about to leave the station. Cast your vote in Bonville, the elections today.